Hi everyone, this is Ashish Dhyani. Welcome to InfoSec Train. And today we are going to discuss about an attack which is server-side request forgery. So in OWASP Top 10 2021, this attack was newly added. So today we are going to look into it and we'll see how we can exploit it. So the first thing that we should know is what is SSRF. So SSRF stands for server-side request forgery. Right. So this is an attack where an attacker can send a crafted request from a vulnerable web application. Right. So it is used to target the internal systems that are behind your web application firewall and that are unreachable to the attacker from the external network. So it is also possible for the attacker to mark SSRF for accessing all the services from the same server that is listening on the loopback interface as well. So why this uh, web application vulnerability occurs, right? So when we are talking about this SSRF, right? So it occurs when a web application is making a request where attacker has full or partial control of the claim that is sent. So when an attacker can control all the part of the URL to which the web application is making the request to some third party services, right? So then SSRF vulnerability arises. Now what it can do, it can gather information about ports, IP addresses, right? Attacker can do remote code execution as well. Right. And it can also discover all the IP addresses of the servers, which are running behind the proxy as well. So let's see how we can exploit that. Now what we have, we have this lab and I have my burp suit running. So in this lab, I have, I want to access the admin panel. Right. So the first thing that I do is there are some products shown. So I will just capture the request of check stock. So there is a feature check stock feature. I will just capture the request of that check stock feature. Right now it shows 60, 689 units now, but I want to see what request is going in the back end. So I will just change my configuration settings of the proxy. Check stock feature is in front of me. Then I will send this request to my repeater in the burp suit and there I will change this whole thing. So their stock API is given. So I will write HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1. So I'm asking it to connect to yourself, right? To the loopback IP. When I send that request, it says 400 bad requests. That means my request is getting blocked, right? So instead of writing .0.0.1, I'm writing 127 dot one i sent the request it says 200 okay that means my request is being accepted then i want to access the admin panel so i will write slash admin when i wrote slash admin and sent the request again i'm getting bad request so it means that my admin is getting blocked so what will I do? I will make some changes. So this A, I will URL encode it, right? And I will double URL encode it. So after double URL encoding it, it will become percentage 2561, right? And when I wrote that and send the request, I am getting 200, okay. Now in this request, I have to find out that if there is in the response, there is some information written. So the, it is giving me some information that how to delete a user car loss, right? So let's see if we are able to delete the users or not. So I found the path that how we can delete the user and I will paste it here and then send. So it says 302 found and there is a redirection. So I said uh, redirection and the lab is solved, right? So if I go back to my lab, so my lab is solved. 
and my user is deleted. So that's how SSRF can impact you. Now, when we are talking about that, how to mitigate this vulnerability. So in that, what we'll do, the mitigations are input validation. You can do the whitelisting as well. You can use safe APIs. You can do network segmentation so that the attacker cannot uh, check all the systems behind the web application firewall. Limited server permission should be there. The security updates should be there and secure configuration should be used and secure audits and pen testing should be done in order to find out. So thank you everyone and we'll meet in the next video. Until then, think, stay safe, stay healthy.